Aloha folks, here we're going to figure out how we can add new macros to GSE. So first thing we need to do is find a macro that we want to use. So my current character is a DK, blood spec. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the wild lazy macro form and we're going to find myself a macro that I want to use. So quick John over here. So the one I have selected is John Metz Blood DK. So it's pretty fairly simple to add a macro. Here's the string for the macro. Uh, you don't want to just, you know, copy and paste just like that. Uh, there usually is a small little button right in the corner here that you can click and it's copied for you. Now, some macros on the forum won't be like that. You may have to copy and paste the entire string. So uh, make sure you have a look at that. So you also want to look at the macro. Uh, this particular macro has things for Covenant. You know, we're playing for Shadowlands here. So tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four has, you know, different setups for different Covenant skills. So you want to have a look at that. Um, you also want to look at how fast this macro is running for some folks. So he doesn't really have a place where how many MS uh, that you have to put in here. So a, a safe general bet is to run everything at 100 um, milliseconds. Uh, that's what I run my macros at and they do just fine. So now that we have chosen our macro, click it, you know, click it, copy it and let's go back to wow. So here, we're gonna, uh, as long as you have GSE installed, all you have to do is type slash GSE, a window will pop up, and the window will be for your uh, current class. So Death Knights, you might, there might be some pre-generated macros in there. You can use them, um, but I'm not too sure if they're outdated or not. Uh, they might they might be, may not, might not be. So what we want to do is we're going to click the import button. The import uh, will bring up a screen right here that you can put the, the macro string in. And as long as you have it copied, all you have to do is paste it in by hitting control V and click import. It will show up in your thing. Like this one's called DK blood. Uh, it'll also tell you where it is in your chat screen. You'll not be able to see my chat screen because I have it covered up. So you want to right click the macro and check to see, you know, what talents it requires. You know, many macros require specific talents. So go ahead and check your talents before you do anything. So he requests that you either choose one or two, uh, either for a heartbreaker, you know, as an alternative to blood drinker uh, you can choose one or two on top down the first line the second line will be consumption because uh, that's his heat uh, that's his preferred healing uh, three setups over here is pretty much choose what you want and or the four setups over here is choose what you want third one he uses blood tap I, I can see it I missed that I think Blood tap. Yeah, let's click it. Uh, but anyway, uh, that might be wrong. But his last setup, you choose either two or three, whether you want Blood Storm or Red Thirst. I'll keep Red Thirst over there. And once that's done, you know, check to see which covenant uh, belongs to what tab. So I'm a Necrolord, so his says go to four. So I will set all my things to go to four as a default, you know, just in case. You know, some of them are PvP, some of them are dungeon, some of them are mythics, and so forth. You know, some macros will have multiple things, you know, like a PvP setup or whatnot, so you need to pay attention to those things. Now, before you start using this macro, check to see, you know, click on the tab, check to see which skills it is using it's uh it's good practice because sometimes there might be a skill in here that you don't need in there or you don't have like here white one it says bone storm uh, i don't have it so it's fine that it's white whited out but 
sometimes there will be red ones. That means you do not have that particular one, which is fine. You can leave it there. But some folks will have things like um, heart essence, which is for the necklace, the heart of Azeroth necklace. And it's fine if you're running old content, but it's not fine if you're running Shadowlands. And especially if you do not have that necklace, it will lock up the macro and just stop. So you got to make sure that's not in there. So, well, if you have it, fine, that's good. Uh, but also another thing is uh, some macros aren't, you know, well thought out or is, you know, specifically made for one type of faction. So you can find which faction or covenant that you're using, like Necrolord. Here's the skill for the Necrolord Abomination Limb. So say you are Night Fae, you might want to put uh, Failing Stomp there instead. So, but once you're done, you know, modifying the macro, you know, you'll hit save and you'll hit close. Now the window will pop back up again. And sometimes there will be like a little book right over here. That means the icon hasn't been made. So you would click on that and you would hit create icon. It says delete icon here. Uh, it's because the icon's already um, made. But once it's done, you just uh, click and hold your icon over here, drag it to whatever key setup uh, that you have and paste it or place it in. So one of the things that you're going to need to do also is figure out what milliseconds you are running this particular macro. So I have one here on my Razer Synapse. Um, I'm going to be running this at 100, but I have 150 um, macro set up here as an example so you want to make sure that your macro is pretty equal some people might have specific macro number setups for the speed but i like to go even you know 75 here 75 here equals to a total of 100 milliseconds you know if you can't find one uh figure it out uh, look look up a seconds to millisecond calculator and you know set it up so and that's pretty easy right over there uh, like my racer synapse here you know i have a 100 um a 100 it says 105 but it's actually 100 but one of the things that you want to make sure to do is you know play assigned key while it is pressed or you can do toggle i do not suggest that because um battles end pretty quickly and toggling option is just a way to get you to trouble a lot of trouble or you can hit the play multiple times so you'd be just clicking it you know every so often but once that's done you hit save on whatever software that you have and go ahead and test out your macro see how it works so i'm here at some dummies test it out. you're not gonna see impressive numbers with me uh, my character is not raid set up in any type of way. So there you go. I'd say that's pretty impressive, at least for my character, as a blood DK. It's not really set up for blood DK, as you can tell my versatility is only 4%. So, uh, don't try to tank with a 4% uh, gear set. So anyway, uh, now that uh, now that that's done, if you're satisfied with the numbers that you get or it's locking up, go back to your GSE and check the skills. You know, review it again and go from there. See, like the uh, blood drinkers uh, has turned white over here because I don't have that skill set up. I have heart uh, strike instead. Also, review your talents once more. And there you go. That is how to add a macro to Gnome Sequencer. Thank you for watching, folks, and I will see you all later.